How's it going? I just want to do an update video. I'll do a couple here, but getting this all mounted. Um, sorry about that. Um, so this pump, what I was speaking about, talking about earlier, was that other tank was uh, wider. So this would have been like out here at the edge of the truck. I didn't really want that. I wanted it inside. So um, I went with the extra filter. It doesn't come with it. I mean, my pickup's got two fuel filters. The skid steer's got a fuel filter. Everything's got a filter, but I just put one on there. Just extra added security, but so that hangs down there. It clears. You know, easy to get on and off. Put a swivel on here. Swivels multiple directions. So I'll run the hose back around and it'll tuck down in there and then the nozzle hang right there. So it's a little bit farther out there. I'm actually losing a little bit of distance on the hose because usually you drag it over the side of the truck to the piece of equipment. So you're losing all of that in a couple feet. Which, you know, you run a longer hose or whatever. Can't really run the filter out here to the front because the toolbox opens right here and it'll hit it. <clears throat> I could swing it around and run it here up against the window and then the hose would come back and that'd give me a little bit more of my uh, length in my hose, but if I put a headache rack on there, that won't work. Really, I don't even know if the headache rack will work now with this tank all the way up against the front. You can see there's uh, not much room between the tank and the window. So that may be an issue. Might have to custom make one, which, whatever, no big deal. Um, the other issue is here, let me flip this around. So the other issue, as you notice, I've got a gooseneck hitch, B&W gooseneck hitch there. And I have a fifth wheel hitch that drops in there and the bar or the whole brackets, I measured it. And they should almost touch that bracket. Exactly. Now, I got lucky there. I didn't even think about that. I didn't measure it. I just was putting the box in with uh, Kennedy. And I was like, oh man, that might not work. But uh, I got lucky. I got lucky on that one. If it wouldn't have fit, then I sh you know, should have went with a smaller tank. And... But we'll keep going. I'm um, going to mount the hose and put the hanger back on for the handle and start hooking up wiring. And then mount the toolbox, which the toolbox sits up about just as high as the tank. So my fifth wheel hitch will fit, but I'm going to have a toolbox stuck up this high all the way back there. So I'm going to have to have a lot of clearance on my fifth wheel if I haul one. That could be a, an issue. I may take this toolbox back just because of that and get the shorter one. They make one that's only this tall and goes down and is deeper. And I think I have the room on the tank to do it. That would probably be the smart thing to do. We'll see. So I'll uh, add another video to this uh, on the next step. Hope everybody's doing well. Enjoying my Saturday night, getting my hands dirty. So I took uh, that toolbox back. It was a normal, you know, I don't know, five or six inch tall toolbox over the bedside. My old toolbox that I put in the meter was a flush mount, so it was the same height as the bed rail. So with my fifth wheel, had no issues. Clearance was nothing easy. This fuel tank sticks up above, as you can see in the videos. Um, and obviously the pump you can see over my shoulder there, it sticks up too, but it's pretty close to the, the back of the cab, so that's not going to be an issue. But the toolbox had that six inch rise and it stuck back there ways, and I was like, man, if I ever pull another fifth wheel, it's going to be too tall, I'm going to have issues, and I have to worry about it hitting. So, um, Loaded up, took it. Actually, I went up north to Ponderé, North 40, to trade it in for the one I bought yesterday in Coeur d'Alene because uh, they had the one I wanted. 
the shorter one, the rig, the right width, everything. So I get up there, tell them, hey, I bought this yesterday at Coeur d'Alene, can I trade it in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I go in the back, find the box that they had online. Yeah, we got it in stock. So I have the guy load on a cart. I go out to my truck, grab the old one, take it inside. We rolls the new one up in the cart, and it's bent. There's a four-inch tweak on both sides of the lid. So whoever strapped it down in transport cinched it down to the four inch strap and crushed the the lid in, which it's still open and closed. It worked. The seal was jacked up, which I didn't like. And um, I just, it cosmetically didn't look right and the seal was messed up. The lid's still open, but they didn't, they had another one that was two inches narrower, which will still work on my truck bed but it just won't go all the way to the outsides. So nobody's ever gonna notice it but me and whoever watches this and then make, that gives me crap when they see my truck just because they watch this, but um, it was clean. It worked, no dents, no dings. It was actually a flatter black with black handles, no chrome, which is what I wanted. Doesn't make a difference, just what I wanted. Um, so I took that one, put it in the truck, and uh, it's all right, it's not bad. It still mounts just fine. The whole fit in there to drill holes in the truck it's gonna be fine but that was uh, yeah so that was what I did today I went and traded out a toolbox so get that put in there and start doing the wiring for the tank and uh, we should be good to go need to go fill that thing up with fuel sooner than later because of gas prices and fuel prices are going through the roof we're paying almost a dollar more a gallon for fuel up here than we were know, five months ago so yeah. all right well check back in with uh, some more of the install so got her all mounted got a the last thing I need to do is run the wiring for the pump I'm gonna run it to uh, one of the switches on the dash, the Ford switches. Keep, you know, just try to keep the honest people from stealing fuel. But, um, like I said, this toolbox, it was 70 inch wide. I wanted the 72, so you can see that it doesn't come all the way out. I mean, the other one I would have had an inch wider on either side. It's not a big deal. Yeah. But now I've got the uh, low profile, so if I do put a fifth wheel, back on here I don't have to worry about clearing that toolbox as much because it was as high if not a little bit higher than that fuel tank um, so yeah I'm happy with it even though it's a little shorter than I wanted but um, when you buy one of these toolboxes better built you should read the little uh, tag inside right here don't forget to pick up a toolbox mounting kit. Well, you'd figure if you buy a toolbox, especially, you know, as much money as they cost nowadays, that it would come with a couple bolts to mount with. Yeah, they don't. So, whatever. I just put a couple lag screws with some big washers in there. It'll work. Uh, there's not going to be really any weight or anything going back and forth. Uh, so, it'll be fine. But that's it. Came out pretty good. Um, like I said, the fifth wheel mount, the hitch, will barely clear these. Fifth wheel will clear the top of this. i got to get a lock for the cap there. And um, might put a lock on the handle over here, too. I'm not sure. But all my hose and everything can fit down in that hole. I don't know if you can see down in there. It doesn't want to focus. You can kind of see down there. That's the power wire. Drill the hole in that black plug. And so this, this is just sitting in there. But comes out in between there. And I don't know if I'm going to go in the back of the cab right there or underneath on the frame. And then run it up inside and wire it to one of those switches. So 
ready to go now. Put 100 gallons of fuel in there. Go spend $300 to fill it. Um, and got my toolbox back, which I'm going to have to buy tools to put in there because all my tools that have always been in my toolbox are in that one. So, yeah. A few problems. And uh, hopefully if you want to do this, you can watch these videos and learn from what I learned and my mistakes and make your job a lot quicker. Hope that helped everybody out. Have a good one.